So, uh, Animesh, could you tell us what this demo is about? Okay, I'm going to give you a quick uh, demo of Adrian installed on Nopex. Okay. What's, what's Adrian? Adrian is a software which gives you uh, voice, uh, voice based access to uh, Linux public uh, Nopex. Uh, in this case, because it is packaged along with Nopex, yeah. okay, so you, what we will be seeing is um, A-D-R-I-A-N Adrian e. A-D-R-I-A-N-E Adrian okay, okay. okay spelled out over there Coming from France or Europe or something? I didn't check I've been a little too excited about uh, playing with it and uh, seeing what goodies are built in So it's basically right. for the visually challenged or? This is uh, I feel um, an excellent tool Think of it as a capability Yeah now, anyone who needs that capability or wants that capability can have it, okay? And this capability, what? I feel, is good for people who are visually challenged, yeah. who cannot read so much, um, but can hear well. Hmm. So, if you have something on the screen and it is read out to you, it will be easier for them. It could be for someone who is uh, illiterate also, possibly. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. The first thing that obviously comes to mind is somebody who is visually challenged. Yeah. But uh, there is absolutely no limit on who can use this. Mm. So we're going to have just a quick look, focus on Adria. Yeah. Okay. Not on Linux or uh, Nopix and so on and yeah. so forth. Okay. We are booting up. I have put in the minimum configuration. One said uh, Nopix, the other said uh, language is US. Mm. Essentially, that is for me US English. Okay. Does it support other languages? Uh, oh yes, the default language would be Deutsch, the, uh, sorry that means German. Yeah, and right. but no Asian there languages. There are lots of other languages available. Any Asian ones or Indian ones? Not yet. I haven't tried those. I am okay. uh, rather comfortable with English and I stick with English. In fact, to be precise, I am uh, rather comfortable with the US English. Okay. Which is the case with... Uh, most computer most users today. computer users in India today. Because we all use the US keyboard. Have a look at this. Key number four okay. has a dollar symbol on it. Yeah. Right. That's a standard US keyboard. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, in India, we use the standard US keyboard. So, how did you find this distro? And uh, it's not much talked about, is it? Um, to me, this was uh, something uh, because I had to reinstall uh, Linux uh, last week. Mm -hmm. I started looking at uh, various distros available and uh, needless to say when, um, sorry I booted into Nopex by accident, right? I should not have done that. I'm going to reboot and go into RPM. Yeah. You want me to raise the volume? No, no. Yeah, yeah. no problem. Right. We can we can carry on with this discussion. So you just ran, ran into it? I, I ran into that by accident. Uh, I keep browsing once in a while looking for some new goodies. How many distros have you tried over the years? I stopped counting long back. <laughs> but does Various it versions of various distros. Um, Red Hat, Fedora, Slackware, uh, Debian, Zuse. Yeah. Okay, it's uh, written as Suse, but yeah. it's actually pronounced as Zuse. German style. Then, uh, right. Then, um, Mandrake. Yeah. Nowadays, Mandrake is out and it's been re uh, replaced with Mandriva. And there was, um, what else was there? All the smaller distros. Debian. A whole bunch of smaller Puppy distros. Linux and a whole lot of others. That uh, I, I've never uh, tried Puppy Linux. Okay. Right? So, honestly. So, could we call you a, a distro junkie in that sense? No, I wouldn't uh, fit in. <laughs> uh, what, what are the advantages of this? Uh, Apart from its voice capability, or that's the main one? Uh, when I mentioned Adrian to you a few days back, Rico, I was primarily referring to its ability to read out what's on the screen. Yeah. And if I do a mouse over using the mouse pointer, it actually tells me where on the menu I have landed up. That I means see. it reads out the entire menu path, I see. which is excellent. Okay. Um, true, it doesn't uh, you know just follow pure... English words. Yeah, it actually starts telling me this um, uh, menu level, that menu level, and so on and so forth. And it goes beyond just reading words like humans would. Okay. Okay. It's still a bit of a machine and therefore quite clunky. Yeah. However, 
fact remains that this is an excellent achievement for a first time effort. Yeah. This is wonderful. When it comes to the visually challenged or the otherwise handicapped, uh, is GNU Linux and free software up to the mark? Uh, the only person who can answer that, honestly, is somebody who is actually visually challenged. Yeah. Here. Can you hear that? Yeah. Could you just make it a bit louder? The volume is max. Okay. So it's basically reading out what is on the menu. True. I the moment I uh, move the cursor, it reads out uh, the content. Yeah. Right. Here. Can you give a demo? Yeah, it's on. SMS, multimedia, contacts, notebook, text cutter, file manager, shell, graphical mm -hmm. program, setup, shutdown. So it's setup. basically a uh, very uh, com uh, command line based. No, I'm just giving you a basic intro. Yeah. Okay. I can actually do a full blown graphical boot up. I see. Navigate through the menus. I see. And you get to see, uh, you, you get to hear rather, yeah. Adrian helping out and reading out all those um, menu items. Yeah. If I had done that directly, that might have been a very confusing presentation. Yeah. Therefore, this. Can you do it? Can you do that now? Or? Yes, we will do exactly that. So if you click on one of these, what happens? It takes. It does. It will take me to something like, uh, say, you want to go into one of these programs. I see. Okay. And it will actually start that particular. In, uh, in graphical? Not necessarily. Okay. All right. But in a way that a user can actually use it. Hmm. For example, just enter one of them. Okay. I see. You heard what it read out. Yeah. Okay. I see. Now we are going to go into a full-blown graphical mode. Yeah. Uh, using uh, some LXDE, uh, some new um, desktop environment. I see. I see. Okay. LX uh, desktop environment. I don't know what that is. For me, that is a new toy to play with. Yeah. Okay. I've never used this before. Initiated startup sequence. It's rather neat looking. I see. It seems to be um, an improvement or an offshoot of uh, um, ICE WM. Do you remember yeah, ICE yeah. WM? Yes. The low weight. Right, lightweight thing. Yes. Yes. Okay. Have a look. <coughs> so actually it's uh, talking and reassuring and telling you. Correct. At every. Now. Window menu. So if you go to open office, open office, let us go into one of the applications. We are going to start one application. So when you type, it will read what you are typing also or it will only tell you what's going to get that in the exploration. I see. I was uh, actually quite fascinated. Um, you saw the uh, uh, command line uh, interface yeah. where there was a menu and I was just moving up and down and it was reading out the, uh, the menu items. Yeah. Right? And I was exploring at that level. And then I got into this level where uh, I found this absolutely fabulous. I see. And I thought this was worth telling the world about. that. This is a potentially a very good solution for a lot of people. So can you type something and just check it out? Hey. What's it say? Okay, maybe you're typing it's a bit too fast for it. Too fast for it. Okay, you want to do it at a slow speed? You're basically typing your name and getting it read it out for you. 
Animesh Nerulkar, in case anyone wanted to know. And in case anybody missed out, what yeah. it actually did was it spoke out every key press. Yeah, including the... Including shift, backspace, yeah. and so on. So that is uh, primarily what led me to the conclusion that this would be an excellent solution for visually impaired people. Okay, uh, Children who are reading to, uh, learning to read, read. Or like write, I see. Okay, they would find this useful because it tells them this is a backspace key. Okay, this is an enter key. Thanks. Thanks for, we'll leave it to the techies to explore it. Yes. But thanks for introducing us. I think this would be uh, an excellent toy which you just expose the children to. Start a machine.